Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Today I'm gonna to show you in Design Space how to take an SVG file and make it big. We're doing an off the mat character in Design Space. Um, more specifically, we're doing Dopey from Snow White. <laughs> so uh, it'll be super cute, but before we get started, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I totally appreciate all the support that we can get. And so let's get started. Let me show you the file that I'm actually using. It is from um, Etsy from the designer is Elite SVG and it is Snow White. I am going to be doing this one. Um, and you know, one of the questions that I get a lot is which, you know, where do I get my files? How do I choose? Um, I do use Etsy quite a bit and I always look for pictures. So I wanna make sure that, you know, this is in the layers that I want it to be. Um, and then the second thing is I also look at the number of sales and the reviews. So Elite SVG, I have used uh, this designer many times. And so, uh, you know, I, I trust this person. <laughs> I trust their files. I don't trust the person, I trust their files. So anyway, that's, uh, you know, that's something that I look for. All right, let's go into design space and get started. Okay, I've already downloaded and uploaded the file. So I'm going to just search for my for my little guy and I know it's been a while. I was gonna do this a long time ago. All right, so here's my Dopey. I'm gonna add to Canvas. And with Dopey, whenever I'm looking at an image, I wanna see like how big can I make it? And I'm always looking for, well, what's the longest, biggest piece? Because I do like to use 12 by 12 cardstock. Um, and the reason is because I think that's what everyone has in their art room. I have a ton of different colors in 12 by 12, uh, very few colors in 12 by 24, right? So um, that's why I'm looking at this. So I'm looking at the image and what I'm seeing is, you know, this, this won't be a lot of pieces, but it's broken up. So like, let's look at his tunic. Um, it is all green, but it's broken up into pieces. So his arm is one piece, the neck is another piece, this upper body is a piece. So if I look at this, I can do, you know, 10 inches, 10 inches, 10 inches. I can easily clear this and do 30 inches just by a rough estimate, knowing that it's broken up into at least three parts. And so if each part is 10 inches, head, mid body, and lower body, um, then I know I can probably do 30 inches without any issues. So let's go to height and I'm gonna change that to 30 inches. You wanna make sure that the image is locked because if I change the height to 30, the width will change um, proportionately. <laughs> I know, I'm losing my words here. All right, let's make this a little bit smaller just so we're not scrolling up and down. Here he is. He's actually pretty slender, but we have this like, whole candle thing coming out and so that's why he's pretty much 30 inches by 30 inches which um shouldn't be a problem not so much well we're gonna need to make this sturdy this little piece right here will probably get a wooden dowel or something because otherwise it's going to like lean down depending on what you're going to be doing with this file because if you think about how this is balanced he's standing but he is heavy on this side because of the candle so he'll tip over um so you're gonna have to be careful with this with this image depending on you know like if you prop it up like you want to make sure it's leaning into something all right let's get started this should be super super easy um let's ungroup everything and he doesn't have a lot of black like he's got black right here but let's try to make sure that we don't run a seam right through here um, but other than that, he looks pretty good. So let's see. Yeah, let's just see what we have. So we're going to ungroup this whole thing. So here is his hat, but he's got a couple pieces. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to grab a little square and we're gonna slice these pieces apart. Right now the purple looks like it's all one piece, but it's not, it's really three pieces, right? So let's do this, grab these two items and slice. So when you're slicing, you can only slice two images at one time. So I'm slicing the purple and the square. I'm gonna get rid of this, um, the slice results right here. And so now this little guy, we can move it all around. He's actually not that small. This little piece is almost an inch high 
and uh, a third of an inch this way. So, and then let's get this piece right here. Here, let me move this over. So I wanna um, slice out this piece right here. Now this piece looks long, right? But if we rotate this, we can fit this on a 12 by 12 inch piece of cardstock. We can unlock it and we can see, let's see. Oops, shoot, I didn't wanna do that. I'm gonna undo that for a second. I just wanna move this, I actually don't want to. Okay, so at 11.569, I can cut this. Um, 11.569 and 9.8. So what will happen is I am going to put my cardstock. I want to make sure that, <clears throat> excuse me, it goes all the way to the 12 inch line because it's not going to cut the top 0.25 inches. So I can cut a full 12 inches. I'm just going to have to use, uh, I'm going to tell Cricut that I am using a 12 by 24 mat and I'm just gonna lay my paper down to make sure that this all fits in there. So, all right, that's a little tip there. And I'm probably gonna do this. So like when we go to cut this piece, all three pieces will be cut on one sheet of cardstock, but it will be a 12 by 12 piece of purple cardstock. All right, let's look at, let's see, his nose and his mouth. These are pretty small and they're close. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Um, let's see, here are the whites. Now the whites are separated. I am going to grab another square and we're just gonna slice this apart. So here we go, I'm gonna grab that, slice. And now this, I can get rid of this piece, the slice results, but this little guy is now by itself. And hopefully, let's see if this will fit. So you can see my eye doesn't come out here in the open space, so I know it will fit right here. I'm gonna grab these two items. Oops. I'm gonna grab. There we go. And I'm gonna slice. So now I've got my eye and eye. So the white will be really um, close together, efficient on the cutting mat. Okay, let's see what else we have. We've got his tunic, which we're gonna split up into pieces. Now, this, this I'm not gonna wanna slice up because it will be very difficult to isolate these pieces because they're so close together and they've got like little curves and stuff. So I'm not gonna be able to isolate those pieces. So when that happens, what I'm gonna do is, let's move this over to, well, let's count how many pieces we want this to be in. So this is one, I'm gonna count this as two, three, four, five, six, six pieces. So I'm going to need six total copies of this. So duplicate two, three, four, five, six. All right, so with each one of these, I'm gonna to go to contour and I'm gonna hide all, and that's gonna leave me this big piece right here. I actually want that little circle in there. Oops. So I need to go back and get that. But you see how this is now 8.4 by 11 inches? Perfect, right? We can cut that. So let's see. Is that what I want? No. <laughs> I get so confused when I'm contouring. All right. There we go. That's what I want. So I want this um, whole shirt with the hole right there. So that's one piece. Let's go to the next one and I'm gonna contour and I'm gonna hide all. And this time I want the second piece. I don't want the first piece. So here's my second piece. Ooh, his tunic is gigantic. It's gonna be a couple sheets of paper. All right, let's go to the next one. Hide all, we're now at the third piece. We don't need the first piece, right? So we're kind of just selecting and removing everything. So here's that piece. Let's go to this one, contour, hide all. I now want the fourth piece, and I also want this piece, because it's so close together, I'm gonna take those two pieces, and I don't want this top piece. So there's my fourth. Let's go to my fifth piece. Hide all, and I want one, two, three, four, five. I want this piece, I don't want this top piece. 
and you know what I want this piece too we'll do those two together and we'll do this big piece by itself and then the last piece let's go to contour hide all I want this piece and I don't want this piece I think we got all our green pieces. Now we've got this little thing. What is this? Oh, interesting that the flame is the same color as his patches. I mean, we can keep it like that. Does it matter, right? Okay, so with this, we can contour or we can slice. The reason why we co use contour for the tunic is because the pieces were so close together. This one will pro probably be easier to just slice so I'm going to get out a big piece like this and let's get his. Uh, oops. Did it slice? What happened? It looked like it didn't slice. So, all right, let me take this down. Let's do this here. Now I'm going to slice that piece. I grabbed too many pieces. You see how it's great? Oh, you can't see that. Hold on. Let me move my face. Okay. So I grabbed too many pieces, so I can't slice it. It's grayed out. So, because I probably grabbed this. So I'm going to be more careful and just grab two pieces. I'm grabbing the, the taupe and the square, and now I can slice because I knew there was a piece right there. Okay, so now I can get rid of the slice results. And now these pieces are all separated. Okay, so I'm gonna keep this square for a second because let's see, what do we have here? This is the candle holder. We'll just keep that all together. And then now we have his face. Um, so I'm going to slice out his fingers and watch what we have to do. I'm gonna move this down a little bit. We need to make sure that this square only covers the pieces that we want to remove from the rest of it. So you see how I'm doing it like this? So only this, the fingers, the hand is in the square. So now I'm going to grab these two items and slice. Okay, so now this is by itself. And I can move this ear too, so let's do this. Let's turn this around, get a clean space for the square. And let's see if we can, I don't think I can remove it. So let's delete the square. And this piece, I'm gonna duplicate it. I'm gonna contour and remove this ear. So I'm gonna go to contour, hide all. I want the ear, I don't want the face. So here's my ear. And then on this one, I'm gonna to go to contour and just remove the ear. Okay, so I've got all of that. Now, um, let's see where we're gonna end up slicing this, okay? So I'm going to, let's move this to a clean spot down here. For the time being, let's save this before I lose it. <laughs> so it's going to be dopey 30 inches. Let's save it. Okay, um, let's go to upload, um, actually images. I'm gonna look for grid. So I have my grid of squares. You can get it for free on my website if you sign up for the newsletter. So you just go to theuselesscrafter.com, scroll all the way the, to the bottom, sign up for the newsletter. Then you will get instructions on how to download the file. If you don't want to subscribe to the newsletter, you can also go to my website, The Useless Crafter, and purchase this file. What's nice about having it is that it is readily available. It is an SVG file. It's ready for all your off the mat. All your all the all the squares are flushed with each other. You have a 33 inch one and you have a 44 inch one. We're gonna use a 33 inch one because our image is 30 inches and that's all we're gonna need. So we're gonna bring it in. And um, I like to position it onto whole numbers. So I'm gonna do this on two and 52 inches so that that way if we make a mistake, we can undo it or we can kind of work our way back to making sure that everything is flushed, okay? So I am going to now align or arrange this and send it to the back. 
and then um, let's ungroup it because we need each square by itself now, right? So now we want to make sure that I didn't want to do something like this because then the candle, the, the little flame is going to be sliced in half when I can do something like this. Then this candle is together all in one piece. We can put that together there. Um, but then everything else is awful. <laughs> Let's see what we have here. Then I have this little piece. This guy is awful. Oops, where am I? Okay, here we go. Um, there's no good way to slice him. He's just going to be in pieces because he's so big. So what we can do is, I like having the idea of this all together. Just moving it around to see what we have here. I think I like this. This is by itself. These are all big pieces. This piece is not that, not big. I think I'll do that. Then this piece right here. I think this is it. So I'm gonna get rid of the squares that we don't need. Okay. And let's start slicing one square at a time with the image. And then what we can do is we can move these pieces over so that we can, we're basically reconstructing it, right? Like this. Okay, so now we can get rid of all these pieces and start slicing some more. Okay, let's see what we have here. So, I'm going to duplicate that and we're going to change it into two pieces. So, we've got a little nub right here that goes right here. And then this little piece, we're gonna contour, get rid of the nub and have the long piece. Now this long piece looks really long, but we're gonna cut it. I don't wanna slice it any more than that. I know I can cut this on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock by moving it more diagonally. So I'm gonna save it like that. So let's do this and get rid of this. And I think we're done, but let's put his face in for a second. And let's see if there's any slices through the face. Arrange them to the front. So let's see, he is like this. Where is his face? So his ears go here. So there are no slices through the, through the face. If there was, I would, um, I would contour this and cut out the black pieces so that the nose would have another black piece to go on top if there was any uh, seams through here, but there aren't. Like his whole face right there looks good. Um, except for, let's see, where does this go? Yeah, no, it looks good. There's no slice, no, no seams in, in all these black areas. All right, so let's save this sucker and I'm gonna cut it and we're gonna piece it together. So we're gonna get ready for a Snow White party. We've already done Snow White many, many times, so we don't need that. And then, um, yeah, any comments or questions, please post them below and I will get back to you, but uh, see you in the assembly portion. Bye guys.